You've got a coordinate set of axes there, I hope. And you can see, as in previous times when I'm trying to illustrate something, often I don't need the whole Cartesian plane. For the purpose of what we're doing today, I'm just drawing the first and the second. The first one where x's and y's are both positive. The second one where y is still positive, but x is negative, because it's to the left of zero. Okay, great. Now, the heading is parallel and perpendicular lines. We'll do parallel lines really quickly, and then we're going to spend our time and our thought, most of it, on perpendicular lines. That's where most of the action is. Okay? So I want you to have a look at these two uh, lines that I've got on here, from the origin up to A, and then this uh, random guy that's hanging over here. Okay? Uh, you can see they are both parallel. What would be like a nice sort of um, one sentence definition? Or even a uh, just a plain language way to describe what is it that makes parallel lines parallel? Yeah. Two lines that can never meet. Okay, two lines that can never meet is not a bad idea. I will point out though that even though it's a good rule of thumb for how we work, there's a teeny little problem. Like it's a definition that will work for us today, but if we go further, it won't work. Example. Two lines. Here we go. If these rulers went on forever, would these lines ever meet? No. Answer, no. But are they parallel? No. Answer, also no. Right. So we actually call these skew lines. Naturally, we don't look at things like this very much because we are in how many dimensions? Three. In, sorry, well, we're in three dimensions, which is what lets me do this. But we're working primarily in two dimensions. So the never meet idea is not bad here. It's not the best definition though. Does someone want to give me another one that might be parallel, <laughs> similar to that, uh, and gets the same meaning? Mustafa? It's um, the same slope. Okay, so this is a more technical definition that gets at something we've been using recently. And I'd love you to all write it with me, actually. Parallel lines. Parallel lines. That's a bit thicker than I wanted, sorry. <laughs> Parallel lines share the same slope. Slope, of course, being a synonym for gradient. Okay. So if you have a look at these two, um, you can probably just make out, if you squint a little bit, that there's a grid here. Okay. If every grid line represented one unit, could someone tell me what's the gradient of OA? Looks to me like 2. The way we can calculate that is, what is the gradient formula again? It's whatever what? Rise over run. You can see this rise looks like it's 4, and the run is 2. 4 divided by 2, there's your gradient. <coughs> by the way, that number, 2, another thing it also means is that every time you go across one unit, you go up 2. That's what the gradient means. In fact, let me just quickly draw that. You don't have to put this on, but just so you can visualize it. You go across one unit, can you make that up, that purple arrow? Can you see it? Yeah. Then you go up two, and you're still on the line. And you can do it again. You go across one, and then you go up two. You can do it any way you like as well. You don't have to put it on like nice, neat coordinates. What, watch what happens if I just rewind a little bit. Let's start like here. That's like some weirdo, wacko spot in the middle of nowhere. If I go across one unit, run, then how much do I rise? It's still 2. Like that distance there that I've done on that vertical arrow, still the same because the gradient is the same all the way. Okay? So we've got rise over run. We know how it goes across. So you can see, now let's get rid of these constructions. The thing that makes this guy parallel is that it also has that same gradient of 2. Goes across 1, up 2, across 1, up 2, etc. All right, parallel lines, they're not too crazy. By the way, the word para, it means uh, alongside. So uh, paranormal activity, it's like, it's not quite normal. It's sort of a bit over here. Um, parabolas, you know those shapes? It means throwing something aside, which is the shape you get when you throw something away. So uh, what are we doing? Uh, not in this topic, not in this topic. I'm always getting in the way of these things. So the word itself, parallel means it's going alongside, you see? It's not just that they never meet, it's also that they stay together, almost, as it were. 